Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 tips on how to grow out your curly hair. So I think curly hair is definitely difficult to manage and grow out. So I hope that these tips will help you out today. And also, before I start the video, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that has been subscribing and leaving me all these nice comments on here and on Instagram. You guys seriously make my day every time I see your comments. So thank you. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Remy and also on Facebook it's at It's Remy. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. Do not disturb me when I'm filming. Okay, so tip number one is drink a lot of water. And I know you guys have probably heard this a million times, but it's crucial to hair growth. You have to drink water. Water will make your hair grow, I swear, like so much faster and it will be shinier. Water is just amazing for your body, just in general. It helps with your skin, your energy, your health, your hair. It's just great. Drink it. Okay, number two is your diet. So diet plays a huge role in your hair growth. You can't expect to be putting junk food inside of your body all the time and then want long shiny hair. So try to eat food that are packed with vitamins and nutrients. I like to eat salmon, Greek yogurt, avocados, almonds, all of those foods are filled with vitamins and nutrients that are really going to speed up the process of your hair growing. I actually have a huge bag of almonds right over there. Let me get it. See? You believe me now? I'm like almost done with this bag. I actually read somewhere before that you should have like a handful of almonds every day and it's very good for you. So I try to eat healthy foods all the time and it definitely helps with hair growth. So try it for like a week or two. I know it's hard to only eat healthy foods like all the time, but try to incorporate it more and more into your diet every day and you will see results in your hair. Okay, so tip number three is to deep condition your hair every single week. I like to deep condition my hair with coconut oil or this other deep conditioner that I actually get from overseas. It's um, called Vatica. I have found it before on Amazon, so if I find it again, I will try to link it down below for you guys. I'm sure some of you have heard of it, but it's so amazing. My hair is like insanely soft after I use it, so I try to use that or coconut oil every single week. And I also like to deep condition my hair not once, but twice or even like three times a week. I just think that curly hair is a lot more dry than straight hair is, so it needs all the deep conditioning it can get. And I always notice that when my hair is hydrated and moisturized, it is a lot softer, shinier, and that will definitely help with hair growth. So I definitely suggest using a really good deep conditioner. And the reason why I love coconut oil so much is because Coconut oil is one of the few oils that actually is able to penetrate the hair and actually get in there and really hydrate it. So coconut oil is like heaven sent. Every curly girl should own some coconut oil because it's in the bombs I know. So tip number four is to take hair vitamins. I always like to take fish oil every single day and I also like to take biotin. I don't really take biotin as regularly as I used to just because I don't really want my hair to grow out any longer than this. But whenever I got a haircut, um, it was a while ago, but the lady cut my hair like up to here and I was like, oh my god. But she cut it really short and I turned to biotin and it definitely helped me. I know some things that may work for me may not work for you, so if this doesn't work, don't get mad. I'm just saying, it worked for me. Tip number five is do not use heat on your hair and this one is the hardest one for me because I love straightening my hair. I love being able to wear my hair curly one day, straight the next, so stay away from the flat irons because they will definitely cause a lot of damage and dry out your hair a lot and this is not going to help your hair grow whatsoever. So tip number six is try to wash your hair less. I try to wash my hair only like twice a week and I think 
that washing your hair less allows your natural oils to actually make their way throughout your hair and help your hair. Your natural oils are better than any oils that you can buy. So I try to give them time to actually soak in your hair and let them grow before you just wash it out every single day. That's why hair can easily break when you're not allowing your natural oils to do their job. So I try to only wash my hair twice a week and sometimes I need to wash it like a third time. That's fine, just try not to do it like every single day. So tip number seven is to get regular trims. I think this is something a lot of people are scared of doing. Trust me, I totally understand when I go in for a trim, I'm like this much off, that's all I want. And then they cut off this much and you're just like, where did my hair go? Just make sure that you're getting trims every couple of months because you don't want your split ends to travel all the way up the hair strands and that will definitely stop your hair from growing. <clears throat> I'm like losing my voice as this video goes on. Tip number eight is try not to shampoo every time you wash your hair. Shampooing is very, it can be very damaging to the hair, especially depending on what type of shampoo you use because a lot of shampoos include sulfates and stuff like that in them and that's not good for your hair. So I like to always use a sulfate-free shampoo. Um, I'm not using one right now, I'm using Tresemme shampoo and conditioner right now, but before I was using the L'Oreal Sulfate Free Shampoo for curly hair, and um, that is a lot better, so if you have to shampoo your hair, try using a sulfate free shampoo, but if you can go without shampooing your hair, um, I definitely suggest doing that because um, using a lot of shampoo every week will dry out your hair, especially at the roots, and then that's going to stop your hair from growing. So just try to cut down on the shampooing if you can. Okay, so tip number nine is do not pull your hair back tight in a ponytail or up in whatever hairstyle. So this is something I'm actually so guilty of. I always like to put my hair up, um, but I'm trying now to lose, to lose to use very loose hair ties because the tight ones definitely rip out my hair every time I do it and you don't want that to happen when you're trying to grow out your hair. So definitely try to leave your hair down or if you have split it up, just put it up loosely and this will help your hair continue to grow and cause less breakage. All right, so the last tip is be patient. I know this one is not the best one, but really I always notice that when I'm not concerned with my hair, I'm not concerned about how it looks or how long it is or whatever, that's when it's doing all the growing. It's so weird, but I find that when you're actually focusing so hard on something, it's like the slowest process, but when you just don't care and you're not paying attention, that's when it just grows. So hair is hair, it will grow. So just be patient. I know it's annoying when you just want your hair to grow out. Trust me, I've been there. But if you drink a lot of water, have a healthy diet, and take your vitamins, it will happen. Don't even worry about it. Your hair will grow. So those are the 10 tips that I have for you guys today. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you. Please let me know what you think down below in the comments and also don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also if you would like to follow me on Instagram it's at it's the Remy. I'll have all that information down below in the description box and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!